Hello and welcome to Firearm Freedom. This is going to be another first impressions video. In today's first impressions video, we are taking a look at the speed feed stock for the Mossberg 590. And before we get this video started, as always, I wanted to give a huge shout out to this video's sponsor. This video sponsor is going to be The Armories, a few really, really cool looking storefronts in the Florida area, but they also have a great website. I've been browsing around for a while and they have a lot of stuff in stock, ready to go. Nowadays, they even have suppressors, which with everything going on with the e-form system, they're getting pretty hard to find. They even allow you to actually trade things in right online. You can shoot them an email with the photos of what you have, and you can see what you can trade it towards for store credit and other things. They also show and display their used inventory right online too. So if you see something used, you can pick it up there, get it shipped right Right to your FFL. The number one thing that the Armories strives for is integrity and in customer service, and that just lines up with me 100%. I love seeing a company that has that as kind of their moral basis. Check them out and thank them for supporting this content. Boy, do I have a video for you guys today. Let me preface this by saying this is the best shotgun stock that I currently own in my collection. Is that a good enough intro for the speed feed stock? Is it? You know, are you guys screaming at me because I didn't say a, a more tactical shotgun stock? Is this just not okay in the norm in today's world? Well, let me tell you, this is <laughs> a banging shotgun stock. So I have this mounted on my Mossberg 590 Mariner. And this is a, a very hard to find shotgun. Nowadays it has the Marine nickel finish on there and it is, it is a great shotgun. It was one of my first like really proud of purchases back in the day for a shotgun. This was when these things were still available. And I think I got this for around 500 bucks, which I know nowadays is just not the case anymore. Maybe they'll come back, you never know. But recently, an incredibly good friend of the channel was helping me sell some things on Reddit, and we ended up doing a swap. Originally, I had the Magpul SGA stock on this Mossberg, and there's nothing wrong with that stock. For me, I'm just not a huge fan of them anymore. When I started, that was kind of like all I gravitated towards was the Magpul SGAs. And the more that I begin shooting shotguns at the range, the more that I train with them, do drills with them, I'm beginning to realize that I actually prefer a more traditional shotgun stock, just like everything else these days, right? But at the end of the day, this is just a more comfortable stock for me. I like the length of pull. I like how the stock maneuvers and rolls over in my hand for reloading. A lot of the shotgun stocks out there that have a more vertical grip angle, and the SGA is one of those, again, I begin to notice that when I flip the gun one way or another to reload. Now, he ended up having a speed feed stock, and I'm like, hey man, let me try out that stock. I'll give you the SGA, and in exchange, you can give me the speed feed, which this was very old, used, it was on a security shotgun from back in the day. And this is my first experience with it. I always saw photos of the speed feed stock and I've never tried it out. I've never ran it at the range or anything like that. So this was really a true first impression. And the moment I started messing with it at the house, I fell in love. So if you don't know what is going on here, you'll notice you have a little bit of a bottleneck up in the front of the shotgun shell and it widens out towards the rear. In order to get the shotgun shells out, and there's actually two hiding in this little tiny mag tube on each side of the stock, you simply depress down slightly and move up. And your shotgun shell is gonna kick right out. That is a three inch magnum one ounce slug. And yes, 
I have two of them in there ready to go. Now, you probably noticed just there that it takes a little bit of practice on that last round. And you'll notice you really don't have to be super dramatic about it as far as how far you push down. If you push down too far, like I was just doing, it's not gonna come out. But if you push down just enough, it pops right out, no problem. It is a little bit to get used to, but you are able to carry, and same deal, by loading these in here, I just depress down with the rim of the casing there and push forward and boom, I got two ready to go. It's the same thing over here and they fly out of there. So in the stock, right where they're at, I have four rounds ready to go in the stock. With the side saddle here, I have a total of 10 additional rounds on the shotgun ready to go. And in this Mossberg 590, it holds eight in the mag tube. So you are rolling with 18 rounds on the shotgun ready to go. That is solid. Let me, let me remind you, that's 18 rounds of full two and three quarter and three inch loads. So this is triple lot buckshot. I got the mag tube loaded with triple lot. I got triple lot on the other side and I got two one ounce three inch magnum slugs in here. So this is a force to be reckoned with and you're not even having to load mini shells in this. And you could even get a Mesa Tactical side saddle that holds eight if you really wanted to, if you really wanted to crank the notch of capacity up. Why is this so cool and such a big deal? Because typically, when in doubt, you're gonna fight with what is on your shotgun. And historically, it has been very difficult to figure out a way to store extra ammunition on the shotgun itself without it being a little ridiculous, right? The slings with rounds all over the place and all the nylon all over and things flying off and elastic carriers where shells are popping out all over the place. It has been a challenge. So I think the combination of the speed feed stock with the Mesa Tactical side saddle and this thing is just a beast. It is an absolute beast at the range. How is reloading from the speed feed? For me, it was a little bit to get used to. However, a few reloads in and man, is it getting pretty quick. Now, the other thing that I noticed is the speed feed is an incredible choice for topping off the shotgun. So I was doing a lot of drills where I would shoot two, load one, shoot two, load two, and whatever the drill was, typically on a shotgun, what you're gonna operate off of is shoot one, load one. And the idea there is you consistently want to be topping off your shotgun, and that is because of the limited capacity that a shotgun has. But when we're looking at the speed feed stock, I can top off the shotgun quickly, at least four rounds, without having to pull at all from my side saddle here. So once I start getting into this, I'm really limiting the capacity that I have on the gun. And originally, I would have immediately started to pull from the side saddle to load one after I've shot one or shot the rest of the tube or whatever. But here, I have the ability to pull from this stock. Not only that, I noticed, and that's why I have a one ounce slug here, it allows you the ability to carry additional ammunition that would generally not be on the shotgun. It gets a little gray and messy to do that up here because you're pulling from like right where all the other ammunition is. And in a high stress situation, you really can easily mess up and pull the wrong thing. Back here, it is very apparent that in this side of the stock, I only have slugs. So again, if for whatever reason, I wanna pull from a slug and something is about to have a very, very bad day, I know that I have two slugs on the left-hand side of the stock and I can either kick out the round that's in the chamber currently and load in a slug or whatever. It just gives you a boatload of options. 
options. Now, typical to normal traditional stocks, this rubber pad here, the rubber recoil pad, although it does a good job for recoil, it's sticking all over my gear. So I decided to wrap it in none other than, of course, a little bit of goon tape. And then I also wrapped the texturing here with a little bit of goon tape as well. And that just really, man, it got it set up pretty freaking good. So I like this stock a good bit. Unfortunately, new, they are very hard to find in the quick Googling that I was doing around online. I think new, they're around 170, 180, but I was seeing them in stock for different sellers on eBay for around 69 bucks. So I think you probably could find one after this video comes out, I don't know, but look around on eBay, that's probably gonna be your best bet. I would strongly recommend the Speed Feed stock. Really loving this thing, and I will let you guys know how it performs as time goes on and as I get more time downrange with this stock. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for more great content coming soon.